What's up guys, Dota Academy here and I'm joined by Ariel and we're going to do yeah. a full review and opening of the new Immortal Treasure 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually open one up that I've had for quite a while. So Immortal Treasure 2, let's view the treasure and I'm going to just open it and start, see what we get. Ariel, what are your predictions? Uh, Podge. Well, the That's what I think. Uh, yeah. I got the Elder Titan, which is my least favorite one. <laughs> I mean, but it's it's still nice. I just don't play the hero. Yeah. Right. Done. Okay. So now what we'll do we'll just go through them one by one and show you all the effects. So, starting off with Chaos Knight, you can see that the custom ability icon for Reality Rift. And a bunch of other effects. So I'm just gonna go to demo. Ariel, what do you think of this one? Curse Knight, uh, probably one of the lesser, lesser appealing ones in this treasure, but it's still nice. I mean, this is the first immortal for a Curse Knight, isn't it? So, so he's given an immortal, and it looks decent anyway. So. Changes his second. Yeah, the reality rift animation looks really cool, actually, for this one. But other than that, there's not that much to it, I think. So, let's just uh, move on to Treant Protector. And Ariel, this is the one you got, I believe. Uh, yeah, no, I got the leaner one, but now I also have Treant as well. So, so what do you think of this one? This is, um, I really like this one, it's really creative. Like, it's not something I don't think anyone could have predicted. I don't know, maybe the more creative people. But yeah, it looks really, it looks really good. Um, and quite quite a funny set as well with these little little elf things on sitting on his head. So Yeah, also when you use Living one. Armor, when you use Living Armor, they kind of like jump around him. Dance around, yeah, it's quite funny. It's quite a funny one. I actually really like this train one. So yeah, that's probably one of the better ones they've had in this Immortal Treasure. Next we have Lena and the custom Light Strike Array. That's actually I, I kinda like that. I like that animation. Yes. And those effects. What do you think of this one? I like the colours they use. It's not great in terms of it doesn't like stray far from what we've seen already from Lena, so it's not too unique, but it's still it's nice if you're a if you're a Lena spammer then you'll probably pick this one up. Be quite happy with it. Yeah, Time definitely. Moving on, we have the Pudge. Now, I personally think the Pudge My is one of the best way. ones right. there is. Like, just look at the rot from that. It looks so gruesome. If we look at it from close the up as well, you can see that slug kind of going down his whole left arm. Is yeah, this is a really nice one as well. Excellent. So probably the best non-rare in this in this uh, set. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they had to do a Pudge one, obviously, Pudge being the most popular hero in this game, so... True. People are gonna really be opening treasures to get this one. Um, creative, and they've really... they've animated the slug really well, so it looks like, kind of, just... repulsive. Yeah, so now, for the Bloodseeker one, there's actually two different styles to it. Then the second one looks really awesome. And the first ability as well that custom kind of as first movement direct. you can see that trail behind him looks really cool yeah this this is nice i mean the name and the the look of this of this piece matches from the previous immortal we've seen from blood Seek, which were the claws of etzok i believe yeah so with these immortals you can wear them if you're a blood seeker player and yeah i think it was needed because before it just looked a bit strange you know he's running around with, with uh, blades kind of larger than his than his whole self, but now we've got a mask to go with it. So true. Yeah, that one's really nice. What they've done with the Bloodseeker. Moving on to the Elder Titan one, which is the one that I've got from the treasure. So what is the custom? Is the custom Echo Stomp, I believe. So yeah. Oh, that animate. Nah, do you know what? That animation is actually quite nice. I take back what I said. <laughs> Like the animation, it is a nice up. one. Yeah, the animation looks really good, and the sound they changed the sound as well, so it sounds pretty cool as well. Yeah, first immortal for the time as well, so fans of the serial will be happy about that. Yeah, 
the not so many, but <laughs> there are the still few, fans. Yeah, the, the few, few fans hardcore. who play Elder Titan will be happy with this one. Moving on, we have the Keeper of the Light, and the mount looks really with nice. The with the custom Illuminate icon, and let's see the animation for this one. Oh, so that's like, yeah, that that's, that's quite cool. I mean, they had to do this eventually, right? I mean, people will probably have this in their heads ages before this was made, but it's a Pegasus, it looks really good. And um, people will be opening treasures to try and get this. Yeah, the mount looks really nice as well. Moving on, we have the very rare, which is the treasure. And in here, let's show you real quick, there's the golden versions of Chaos Knight, Pudge, and Alina. So let's just see the custom animation for this golden one from Chaos Knight. Yeah, that looks a lot nicer than the first one. I'll show you that again with the reality rift. It's really cool. And if we go on to the next one in this, the Pudge, I'm really excited to see what the rock looks like. Golden rock? Yes, golden rock. That's, <laughs> that's actually awesome, this Pudge one here. With the yeah, that looks really good. <laughs> That's really cool. I really like that one from the chest. And the last one we have the Vina. And this should give us the golden kind of stun effect animation, yeah. I mean, to be honest, right, there's not that big a change because all the colors are quite similar for Lina. So, I mean, yeah, just it, you know. if you're lucky enough to get a golden so then the fact that it's that rare, you know, you're, you're happy with that just because of how lucky you got with it. Yeah. And so, let me just find where we are. The last one in this Immortal Treasure 2 is the Necrophos. And this, I haven't actually tried this out yet, but the Reaper Scythe will be interesting to see the effects. So let's just take a look at what this does. Oh, wow. Wow, that's insane. That is actually insane. That yeah, looks... this is probably... The best in, in the whole in the whole treasure. That's <laughs> in the actually whole treasure, insane. Um, look at that! Just look at that animation. That is unbelievable. GG Valve. GG. That is crazy good. All the name and the sort of style of this of this item matches from the immortal that we've seen released previously for Necrophos. So. You can have both on at the same time, I'm sure that'll look even better. Yeah, but well, overall, I really like this Immortal Treasure. They've really upped it since the first one, and we'll have to wait to see what the Immortal Treasure 3 will ho hold for us. But thank you guys for watching on behalf of Aral and myself. Please like and subscribe to Dota Academy for all the latest Dota 2 videos, and we'll see you in the next one.